Shanghai is weird on consoles. Every platform seemed to have its own publisher for it. On the Famicom, it was Sunsoft who got to publish it. And their first Shanghai game was rough. Rather than rendering tiles at an offset, they chose to use colors to indicate the heights. It worked, but not as well as other versions. Well, here comes Shanghai 2, and Sunsoft has redone it so that they're actually displaying the field properly. Shanghai, of course, is what your mother thinks playing Mahjong is like. A set of Chinese Mahjong tiles are stacked up in a pattern, and you remove them from the stack by matching pairs. The pairs have to be at the outer edge and on top. Otherwise, they're blocked. And that's everything there is to playing this game. Shanghai really is one of the simplest puzzle games out there. Of course, the original Shanghai was a massive success, so what does Shanghai 2 bring to the table? Or, to be specific, what does Sunsoft's Shanghai 2 bring to the table? Because multiple people made a Shanghai 2. Well, first, they have five new styles of boards. The original style is referred to as the Dragon Board, and it's the last option. The new styles of boards are fine. I didn't see anything about them that would make them worse to play. They are intentionally more difficult, I think, with more tiles locked up behind single tiles all over the place. But I don't think that's a bad thing for a sequel. Second, they added a tournament mode. Here you have a timer that's constantly ticking down, and finding a pair replenishes part of that bar. The tournament is laid out as a series of stages, so it will walk you through the different tile layouts. In the tournament, if you run out of tiles that you can match, or the timer reaches zero, you can always continue from the stage that you are at, though progress is not saved here. One thing you might have noticed as I was demonstrating the tournament there is that Shanghai 2 includes an alternate tile set. They call it the European style. Personally, I find it a lot harder to read. The final mode is challenge mode, and that's a two-player version where each player has a certain amount of time to find a pair. And you're basically competing to see who can find the most. Similar to Sunsoft's previous version of Shanghai, there's some tools to help you if you get stuck. Under Hint 1, you can search for pairs. And under Hint 2, you can peek below the stack of tiles. Though it does show you everything when it's building out the entire stack. You can also choose to restart the stage with the same layout. Weirdly enough, this is a port of an arcade game. Sunsoft also had the rights to Shanghai arcade games, and the arcade game Shanghai 2 is the tournament mode in the Famicom Shanghai 2. In Japan, Shanghai 2 seems to have done pretty well and be well remembered, but as you might expect, there isn't a lot of conversation about it. The game is just too simple for that. Shanghai 2 is definitely the best way to play Shanghai on the Famicom. In fact, I'd say it's a pretty good 8-bit version. The tournament mode in particular adds a nice challenge. But it's still a game that's available on every single platform out there. And so if you really wanted to play Shanghai, a lot of better options exist. <laughs>